Um, right, let's talk about your candidate, potential candidate for Henley on Thames. He has got himself into uh, hot water because of some Twitter posts which have been deemed offensive. This guy's name is David Carpin. Where are you at with him, Richard Tyson? So he has posted some inappropriate and, frankly, daft stuff. We've got and some, if you're listening on the radio, we've put, we're putting some of them up on screen. There's one here of somebody sweeping the... Uh, that's the pride flag down the drain. So that's Sweeping what, it down the drain. That, that's but what the, he thinks of gay rights. We're a serious political party, and I've told our candidates... You don't put daft stuff this up is, there. This and is particularly stuff. damning, isn't it? Happy Europe Day uh, to all European people and countries. Reject totalitarian empires. And he's done a, um, a, a sort of satire of the EU flag using swastikas. Yeah, and so he's an ex-candidate. I've fired him. You fired he's him. not a candidate. And that's the point. You know, I'm a serious leader that will take decisions immediately when they need to be taken. He's gone. He's done. Finished. And people need to learn uh, a lesson that look, you've got freedom of expression. That's the joy of being in a democracy like ours. But I've also got the freedom of choice as to who's going to be my candidates and he's not going to be one of them. And good for you for sacking him, Richard. But do you, are you concerned perhaps that you're monitoring? Yeah, look, it isn't. So, but the point is, he was vetted. vetted before this. Yeah. And then at some point, possibly, I don't know, he's done something daft, written something daft. Post the vetting and procedure. And post, post the vetting procedure. Right. They've all been told, you know, don't do this stuff. Mm. And if you do, you're going to be fired. It's as simple as that. We've got lots more candidates, great candidates applying, and people need to understand this. But I'm not going to take lessons from any other political party when you see what happened in the Labour Party mm. with Azhar Ali, who was nominated yeah, yeah. Uh, with his deeply anti-Semitic uh, comments and views and clearly held by others in that meeting. So, yeah, I'm going to fire people who do ring with you, but it? I'm not going to take lessons and, from any other and, party and like the Labour Party. On Labour, Rachel, Rachel what was she... Uh, um, the Labour front bench went on a panel with him, on a platform with him, even after... The, this, this story had broken. Is it Lisa and Andy? Lisa and Andy. And Labour had the full transcript which showed it wasn't just vile conspiracy theories he was peddling, he was peddling horrible anti Semitic. And, and that's language. the difference. Yeah. I've been made aware of it, I've fired the bloke because yeah. I've got clear convictions, principles, and the ability to make decisions. They haven't. They're always looking over their shoulder, yeah. worrying about this, and that's a very bad place for the Labour Party to be. It's interesting that his Henley on Thames was the seat that was his, because, of course, that has been as one of the safest Conservative seats for decades. It was Boris Johnson's seat, it was Michael Heseltine's seat. You've got to get the right candidate in there, because it's probably quite a lot of people who would like the things that you say. Absolutely, right. and, and that's why... It, but it's the same in many uh, seats, whether it's red wall seats or whether it's seats like Henley on Thames. It it actually doesn't matter about the seat. It's actually about people uh, behaving in the right way, in an appropriate way, if you want to be elected to be a Member of Parliament. How do you sat them by, though? Do you do it by tweet? He's just found out. He's watching GB them? News. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it? Are you, do, do you get on the phone? Do you, is it brutal? On they're, Twitter? No, they get a phone call. It's very, very simple. And, you. Uh, you know, look, and, and he's very... Well, freedom of speech is a precious thing, sure. as you well know. It really is. And so that's that. But OK. All right. But he went too far. We have to read, because this is Ofcom Law, all the candidates standing in the Rochdale by-election, which is next week, as are Ali, who is still the Labour candidate, because that's... His name's on the ballot paper. Mark Coleman, Independent. Simon Tantiot, Reform UK. Ian Donaldson, Liberal Democrat. Paul Ellison, Conservative. George Galloway, Workers' Party of Britain. Michael Howarth, who's an Independent. William Howarth, who is an Independent. Guy Otten from the Green Party. Raving Rodent, Subortner, the official monster raving loony. And David Tully, who is also an Independent.